Did you know you can control your TV with your HTC One M8 for Windows? You sure can. We'll show you how. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here, Windows Phone Central, and we're taking another look at the HTC One M8, which is now available exclusively on Verizon in the US. But for your fans on AT&T and other carriers worldwide, you can expect this phone probably in the next few months. For now though, just Verizon. But still, if you're planning on getting this phone later on, you may be interested in this. So before we get to our full review, I just want to talk about some technology on this device. One of the neat things is this. It's an IR blaster, which is a familiar technology for those of you guys who have remotes for your TV. Interestingly, IR blasters used to be on PDAs years ago, but as the technology faded, they basically removed them from those hardwares and smartphones just did not carry it on. But within about the last year, HTC and Samsung and a few other companies have decided to put the technology back in, mostly because the components are small enough now where it doesn't sacrifice anything on the phone. It can just squeeze it in as an extra selling point. So HTC did it with the one for Android and they brought it over for Windows Phone as well. And they have this really cool corresponding app called HTC Sense TV. And what it does is you punch in your location and it brings down the current cable providers in your area and you choose yours. And now it's gonna show you what's on TV right now. So you scroll through and you can see the little images of what's playing. You also can see those little bars which shows you how much of the show has actually been played so far. You know, if it's an hour show, you'll have a lot more time versus uh, something that's only a half hour, you might have missed most of it already. So you go through and you can see what's playing. Scroll over one more time, you can see the movies that are on now, which is really nice. Think of it like Netflix. You're just browsing through and you see an image or a title of a movie that, uh, you know, finds, piques your interest and you can click it. Finally, you get sports on. So for you sports fans, you can go through and see what the, you know, games are currently playing. And what happens is when you find something you want to watch, you just tap it, and it's going to bring down the info about that show. Uh, so you can see here, it's episode 84, season 4. Uh, you get, the, of course, the graphic. You get the description of that show. And then, of course, you can hit watch now. Now, when you tap that, it's going to ask you to set it up as a remote. And then you can do that with your TV. And you're going to punch in some codes. And then what happens, of course, is had that already been set up, it just would have been on. And I just would have switched and would have set the signal, sent the signal rather to the TV to change the channel. So it's a smart way to browse your TV. Instead of just surfing around aimlessly, you can actually just pick to see what's actually on. On right now. Now if we go into the settings here, you also have rooms so you can set this up for well different rooms or even locations. If you want to go to your friend's house and they have a different provider. You can also choose location here so it's going to walk me through the setup. Now the first time you launch this device or this app rather, it's going to basically take you through this. It's going to explain to you what it's doing and you can see there are actually a lot of countries here. So besides the United States, there is basically everything else. So when this phone does go global, you can do this as well. So we pick the US, we punch in our zip code. And what's going to do, it's going to fetch all the cable and TV providers in the area that match our location. And so I'm going to choose uh, Verizon Fios, then we'll hit that. And then it brings down all the channels with their corresponding matching uh, stations. And you can go through and you can actually select all of them by default, or you can just uncheck which ones you don't want as well. Hit finish and it's all set up. And so besides setting up the actual TV and the IR codes, that's all there is to it. It's a really useful application. It's unique to Windows Phone, at least this Windows Phone. I believe the Samsung Ative SE has it too on Verizon. So it's definitely something you'll see more of in the future, but right now it's just uh, this phone, which hopefully will be going wider to other carriers soon. So there you go. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. Tell us what you think. Take care, everybody.